Greetings and welcome to another Cheat Layer desktop tutorial. In this video, we will talk about image to image translation using stable diffusion. So, the first thing we will do is we will go out to the internet and download some images using our Project Atlas to generate this automation. So, in our desktop application, we will launch Project Atlas. Now that we are in Project Atlas, we will prompt this in natural language to download all of the images from a website. So we will say get all the images from and then give it our URL. Once we click generate automation, that adds a node into our node graph that will activate that generated cheat. So the next thing we will do is we will then bring in that downloaded image to our automation using the get file action. And we can point this at the file location where we have that image saved. And we can also add the file type. So just look at your images, see what their format is. This is going to be a JPEG, so it's JPG. And next we will add a stable diffusion action and we can open up this node and we will want to change some of these settings. So the first setting we will want to change is the mode. We want to do image to image. Uh, we will come back to the prompt in just a second, but this is what we will give the AI uh, as an input to actually make changes. But first I want to select my variable and input image options. So for variable, we will want to use uh, loop total runs, image input, we'll use loop node runs. And also I'm going to use a different sampler. So there are a couple options here. These are just different image generation models. For this example, I'll use PLMS. The other thing that we'll want to look at is our scale. You can change this value to be either greater or less. For now, we'll just leave the scale alone, but as we iterate, we may want to make some changes to that. So now we'll give this a prompt to say how we want to change this image. Let's make this anime style. And now because we're going to be doing some A-B testing with this image, let's say, we'll add an if else condition so that we can keep iterating this we will say with the if else node the out node is when the condition met is true the out b node is for when this is false so if this condition is false we'll loop back into our stable diffusion and the condition we'll give this will be total runs and if this is equal to say five. So what that'll do is if this has not run through five times, it will come back and go back into stable diffusion. Once that is true, then it will come out of the true node. Okay, so now let's run this and see what it comes out with. We can keep an eye on our console output down here and we can monitor the progress of this and we will see these images being output into the outputs folder where we have our cheat layer application saved. We'll also see a little thumbnail version of these images as they resolve uh, displayed above our console output. And there we go, we have our first image output and we can see that this has now started another iteration so we'll let this run, we'll let it go through all of the iterations and let's see what this comes up with. So now if we want to see our outputs, we can go into our cheat layer folder where we have all of the files that we install when we download the desktop application. And there's gonna be a folder in here titled outputs. And this is where all of these image generations go. We can look at image to image samples and we can see all of the outputs from that run we just did. So for context, again, here is the original image that we put in. And here is what we got out. So some pretty interesting stuff. And again, the prompt we used was 
anime style and you can see these are all very animated pretty cool so I hope you have all found this to be a very useful and informative tutorial and have some fun messing around with the stable diffusion image to image generation uh, again this can be very useful for a B testing photos and content and I'm sure that you cheaters will put this to good use